On December 25, 2021, the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, the largest and most powerful space telescope, was launched into space. A month later, it reached its target in solar orbit at a distance of nearly 1 million miles from Earth. The first batch of photos collected by Webb were selected by NASA to demonstrate the telescope's capabilities and the objectives of upcoming science missions. Webb, which observes objects mostly in the infrared spectrum, is about 100 times more sensitive than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. Since the first scientific images and telescope data became available to astronomers, they have reported a flood of stunning preliminary discoveries, including several contenders for what may be the most distant galaxy ever seen. So what kind of amazing discovery based on Webb's images awaits us? What lies beyond the line of the undiscovered? Is there something that scientists are already inclined to doubt the validity of the Big Bang Theory? The Webb Deep Field is the first demonstrated scientific photograph from the James Webb Telescope. The image was an image of the massive star cluster SMAX 0723. At first glance, this image is unremarkable. However, it is the one that reveals the full potential of Webb in a single image. The telescope showed a picture of the so-called deep field, this is an image of a small section of space with a very long shutter speed, allowing you to look deep into the early universe. Webb also demonstrated the effect of gravitational lensing, when a supermassive star cluster created such a distortion of spacetime that, as through a magnifying glass, brought distant, distant galaxies from the depths of the young universe closer to us. It took the telescope just 12.5 hours to take the image. If you increase the exposure to days, scientists say, Webb can look back to a time when stars were just beginning to emerge in our universe. Star formation in the Kiel Nebula This landscape at the edge of a giant gas bubble, the emission nebula NGC 3324 in the constellation Kiel, where intense star formation is underway. The images show space rocks, as scientists have nicknamed the edge of the gas dust cloud. Where new stars are formed in dense globules, the shape of the cloud itself is responsible for the stellar wind from massive stars located in the upper part of the frames. By studying such images, it is possible to find dust disks around stars where planets can form, and also to trace the life of young stars in the earliest phases of their existence, which can take from 50 to 100,000 years by the standards of stars is an instant. The earliest and fastest phases of star formation are difficult to capture, but Webb's exceptional sensitivity, spatial resolution and imaging capabilities will help scientists chronicle these elusive events. Incredible views of Jupiter The James Webb Telescope has captured images of the solar system's largest planet. The images show the auroras, giant storms, moons and rings surrounding Jupiter in detail that astronomers have called incredible. The image, created from several telescope images, shows the auroras stretching over the north and south poles. These light shows in the sky above the planet are caused by interactions with particles flying away from the sun. The Great Red Spot, a famous storm so big it could swallow the entire Earth, appears white in the image because it reflects a lot of sunlight. First exoplanet photographed, Webb has for the first time taken a direct image of a planet that is outside the solar system. It orbits the star HIP 654-26 in the constellation Centauri at a distance of 385 light-years from us. The telescope took four incredibly detailed images of the exoplanet, which is five to ten times more massive than Jupiter. According to scientists, it is only 10 to 20 million years old, compared to the Earth, which is 4.5 billion years old, it is just a baby, it's safe to say that this direct image of an exoplanet is a historic moment for astronomy, says Sasha Hinckley of the University of Exeter, UK. Both can now be used to study distant planets in detail, getting information about their composition, temperature and mass. As for temperature, you definitely can't live here on HIP 654-26b. If you got to this planet, you would be burned alive very quickly. WASP-39, water on another planet, NASA used a near-infrared imager and a slitless spectrograph to take a deep dive into the composition of the atmosphere of the exoplanet WASP-96b, as envisioned by the designers, 
The JWST not only takes the pictures you can see on the screen, just a lot of dots as a graph, but it's a very important piece of information for scientists. It focuses researchers' attention on what they call the transmission spectrum. To do this, the scientists compared starlight filtered through a planet's atmosphere as it travels through the star with unfiltered starlight detected when the planet is close to the star. Each of the 141 data points on the graph he created shows the amount of light of a particular wavelength blocked by a planet embodied by its atmosphere. The results of the observations were unexpected. Until recently, VAZP 96b was thought to have a cloudless atmosphere. This was indicated by the shape of the sodium spectral profile determined from ground-based telescope observations. However, James Webb's data suggested that clouds and haze were still present in the atmosphere, as were traces of water vapor. And since Webb was able to detect water on the exoplanet, we have a better chance of finding an Earth-like planet that could support life. The Cartwheel Galaxy, astronomers believe that several hundred million years ago, this galaxy collided with another, smaller galaxy, an almost head-on collision that forever changed the then-spiral galaxy, giving it a new shape and structure resembling a cartwheel. Webb's powerful infrared vision created this detailed image of the cartwheel and two smaller companion galaxies against a backdrop of many other galaxies, scientists say this image provides a new perspective on how the Cartwheel Galaxy has changed over billions of years. It's called a ring galaxy because it has two rings, a colorful outer ring and a bright inner ring that extend from the center. Ring galaxies are less common than spiral galaxies, such as our Milky Way. The outer ring, expanding over a period of about 440 million years, burst outward and cut into the surrounding gas, causing active star formation. The inner core is made up of hot dust and giant young star clusters. The most distant galaxy ever, just a week after its first image was shown to the world, the James Webb Space Telescope may have discovered a galaxy that existed 13.5 billion years ago. The galaxy, known as Glass Z13, dates back 300 million years after the Big Bang, about 100 million years earlier than anything previously identified, said scientist Rohan Naidu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics. We are potentially looking at the most distant starlight anyone has ever seen, he said. When translated from the infrared to the visible spectrum, the galaxy appears as a red spot with white in the center, as part of a broader image of distant space called the deep field. Naidu and his fellow team of 25 astronomers from around the world presented their findings about Glass Z13 in a scientific journal, which shocked their fellow scientists. The team discovered surprising properties of the Glass Z13 galaxy. For example, it has a mass of a billion solar masses, which the scientists write is potentially very surprising, and is something we don't really understand given how soon after the Big Bang it formed. With James Webb's resolution, we can see that galaxies are getting disks much earlier than we thought, says Allison Kirkpatrick, an astronomer at the University of Kansas in Lawrence. That's a problem, she believes, because it contradicts earlier theories of galaxy evolution. It's not yet a doubt about the Big Bang theory, but it's already a subtle hint that galactic evolution may be more complex than scientists have assumed, and the James Webb Space Telescope, the world's first space exploration observatory, continues to riddle humanity with cosmic mysteries. For many years to come, it will unlock the mysteries of our solar system, look beyond distant worlds around other stars, and follow the mysterious structures and origins of the universe and our place in it. Because Webb is only at the beginning of his planned 20-plus years of work, astronomers know there are many surprising discoveries and reasonable doubts ahead. Thank you for watching, dear friends. Your kind words and support motivate me to make more and more interesting videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all future videos, because there are many more interesting and exciting things to come. See you on our space journey.